And in light of all that success, we bring in team president Mike Nutter now. And Mike, season six at Parkview Field, arguably the biggest yet. How do you explain that success? We, we really just continue to be impressed with the fans and the region and the way they turn out for quality family entertainment here at Parkview Field. It's amazing. In my wildest dreams back at Memorial Stadium, we thought we'd have great success. We have had great success. But I'm not sure anybody expected year six to be bigger than year one and two. And so it's wild. And now the pressure comes because we have to keep it rolling. And during the offseason, renewed your affiliation with the Padres through 2016. What's the relationship like between the Tin Caps and San Diego? It's tremendous. Although we're the farthest affiliate from them, it's the longest tenured. And so it's been a great run. There's a lot of new uh, personalities out in San Diego for me and us to deal with now. We're excited about that. They've remade their major league club into a big time contender for 2015. And we think that the great scouting and player development will continue. They know that it's been six straight years of playoffs. I've told Francisco Morales, he's got a lot of pressure, but uh, we're excited about the new uh, era of San Diego Padre baseball and what that means here in Fort Wayne. And it's been a whirlwind of a first week so far, but what are your early impressions of this year's roster and coaching staff? Great personalities in both. And so uh, it starts with the manager, Francisco Morales, over the first several days, for me, has shown himself to be a great leader of men, great communicator. I think whether it's in our office or in the clubhouse, communication's the key where it starts. And so that's been great. I think some great personalities in the clubhouse, which I like. I don't like the vanilla. I like some loud guys. I, I do like some of the quiet guys too. Uh, and then we've got a good faction of returning guys, a good amount of American born and foreign born. I think there's a great mix down there. We'll just have to see how it starts off. And you mentioned uh, the returners. One is Josh Van Meter, who last year was the first everyday player from the region. What's it like having Josh around here? It's great for me. Uh, I think it's great for fans. I think it's great for the operation. But selfishly a little bit, it's great for me personally. Josh and I and his family have become friends over the last couple of years. He used these batting cages behind us to teach lessons and make a few dollars in the off season. He's a good guy to have around. He understands what we're trying to do promotionally and in the community because he's one of us. And then at the same time, we also know what they're all trying to do of get to the major leagues and we don't want to stand in the way of that. But you were in a team meeting earlier this week where we talked to them about the synergy of the two. And these guys get it. They embrace it. And then Francisco Morales, for him to say some of, some of the stuff that he said to them about the importance of this. They're all important. All the cities all on the chain. But this is the one we're most worried about. And to paint the vision of what it means to wear that tin cap jersey is important to me. So in addition to watching Josh and TJ Weir, who's another Hoosier from Kokomo, what else do fans have to look forward to this year, not only on the field, but all around the ballpark? I think around the ballpark, they're gonna see some new concessions op uh, offerings. Excuse me, there's a Asian food, Chinese food cart that's important to me since I eat it about five days a week. Uh, is with the intentional walk down there, third base in the corner. We're excited about that. Some new pretzels, some new drinks, some different uh, beer options. There's going to be a gluten-free beer option for the first time on Thirsty Thursdays for a discounted price. Uh, we've heard from fans that that's an important thing, so we always listen to them. But I think first and foremost, we're known for our promotions. And so great theme nights, new theme nights, new theme jerseys. Tipping a cap to our friends over at the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo, run by Jim Anderson, one of the best zoos in the country, one of the best zoo operators in the country. We're going to do a great theme jersey for them for their anniversary, a Lego, everything is awesome night. Continue with some of the stuff that we're known for that we've done every year with the Vera Bradley breast cancer night, the Star Wars nights, a lot of those things that are so important, a tribute to the city that we call home, uh, a salute to Fort Wayne night, similar to what we did last year for the firefighters, for the folks who are out here. A lot of the stuff that they love, they'll get to see again and hopefully better, and some new stuff as well. Great, Mike. Well, we're looking forward to the big fun that's in store here in 2015. Thanks for the time as always, and we look forward to checking in throughout the year. Thank you.